When you take a peek at the grand hall, you notice the party's reason. A birthday girl, vigorously blowing her candles. When this redhead puts them out, the rest of her table guests disappear, but the cycle never ends and the candles turn on again, and they reappear. Who is this girl? What's her official name? How old is she? What story have fans written of her? All this and more here in Stories from the Mansion. This story was subjected by Disney Diva. I also want to thank all our new subscribers for joining us. As of now, we're only 29 subscribers away from our 999 happy haunts. If we reach 1000 or more subscribers by August 31st at midnight, I will make a special and thorough ghost host video. I also want to give a ghostly salute to one of our star subscribers, Rachel Gutierrez. Now the happy horns have received our sympathetic vibrations and are assembling for a swinging wake. And they're expecting us, so let's get inside the mansion. <laughs> Birthday Girl was a late addition to the mansion. As mentioned in our Unmade Mansions video, the ballroom was supposed to be celebrating a wedding party, like in Phantom Manor, not a birthday party. Therefore, concept art by Davis and other Imagineers do not show her. In the end, when the storyline of the wedding was discarded, a birthday party was installed, with this birthday girl as the hostess, or as Disneyland Operations officially calls her, Ghostess. Utilizing the same head as many characters such as Carlos, the mayor from Pirates of the Caribbean, or the ghost that plays a medieval flute in the graveyard, this character has no official story whatsoever. She does appear in the story in Song of the Haunted Mansion, where we are confirmed that a birthday party is causing all the swinging wake there, but no mention of her name or age is given. There are exactly 13 candles on her cake, a circle of 12 with one at the center. But is she really that young or are they 13 because that's the unlucky number? A canonical family that lived in the mansion after the Gracies left the house in 1936 after an apparition joined the side of one of the Johnsons and extinguished Eunice Johnson's 29 candles in her birthday cake, causing the Johnsons to leave the house. Still, no mention of the ghost's name or age, but what have fans said? Let's hear that, shall we? <laughs> Victoria Abigail Buffon, or Madame Tangerine, due to her red hair, was a party lover. She was the great aunt of Master Gracie Jr. Madame Leota hated Madame Tangerine so much that she cursed her to die 13 years from the moment she set the hex on her. In some other versions, this curse also reached every guest of the party, who 13 years from said incident had a gruesome death. When the date of Madame Tangerine's death came, and she had not died yet, she threw a birthday party just to make Leota even angrier. She placed 13 candles to symbolize the 13 years the curse would take to affect her. And just when she blew her candles, she died. With a smile, and so would the rest of the guests, extinguishing their lives with the candle lights. Much to Leota's disgrace, Madame Tangerine would now create a never-ending post-mortem party that would not let Leota have a moment's peace. <laughs> In the early 90s, after the opening of Phantom Manor, there were plans to make a more unified Haunted Mansion story back in California and discard the birthday party for a wedding party. This concept art right here would decorate the table with wedding objects and remove the birthday girl to leave an empty seat for the bride. Fortunately, that never happened. So, what do you think about this character? Do you know more stories about her? Let me know in the comment section. That is all for now, rest in peace, and I'll see you all 
a little later.